just wanted to reflect this week on some of the saints that we celebrate the feast days of in this month of July. One of them are the parents of St. Therese, the little flower, uh, Zelie and Louis Martin. And they're an interesting pair. She was a lace maker. He was a clock maker. If my memory serves me correctly, he had pursued a vocation uh, to the priesthood. Um, two very holy people who marry each other. And at the beginning, they didn't have children. They wanted to live kind of this, this consecrated virginity within marriage. Uh, priests prevailed upon them to say, no, part of your vocation of marriage is to bring forth children. Thank God they did, because uh, many of them became nuns. And of course, we have uh, St. Therese, uh, their daughter, who is a great saint and one of my favorites. I, I believe they were canonized just to hold up for the church more models of what marital holiness looks like. Uh, most of the saints are, are you know, priests, nuns, founders of religious orders, hermits, uh, bishops, some popes, um, but most people in the church are, are laity. So we need um, clear and beautiful models of what it means to live, especially marriage. In this world that many people are afraid to even be married, or many marriages tragically end, to see a couple canonize the saints who lived the beauty of marriage as Christ intends it, in a life of sacrificial generosity, of forgiveness, and of love for each other. Um, Zelie died when Therese was very young, and so Louis lived as, as a widower for many years and really fathered his daughters as a beautiful sign of God's love for them and, and nurtured uh, their vocations uh, to the convent. So today I just pray for all the married couples in our diocese that you be given an abundant grace to live your heroic vocation with joy, with generosity, and especially for couples that are struggling in marriage, that uh, you may find your way together by turning to the Lord and seeking reconciliation and peace.